Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com, bringing you another tip today. Pretty simple tip, uh, really easy, save you some space. Space is something that's a hot commodity. Um, with fly tires, I know if you guys are anything like me, I'm a hoarder when it comes to fly tying material. You never have enough, you run into a shop. And here's another, uh, I'm going to be dealing with dubbing in this tip. Another tip, Just here's a free one for you. When you're in a shop, a lot of times you'll be looking through the dubbing and you'll see a color that may not match the other bags that came from a different dye lot. It was, it's supposed to be the same color, but they don't always make it exactly perfect. It happens. Uh, having a shop, we see it a lot at ours and uh, it's subtle differences, but sometimes it could be a little bit, a little bit drastic comparatively. Um, if you see a bag that jumps out at you like that, grab it because you're never going to find it again for one example of this was i had a uv tan and uh, i really like this uv tan color but i found one one time that was just loaded with the purple in it and uh, it was more of the purple ice dub than it was the tan and it was a really really nice color i've never found it again since it was just that one dye lot and um I grabbed like three bags of it because I knew that wasn't the right color, but I really liked the look of that color. And of course I'm out of it now, but that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. If the best time to get something is when you see it, if they have it. Um, another thing, like I said, this is where my dubbing, where I keep my dubbing on the wall here. I, uh, have a lot of dubbing. It, it adds up. Every time I go to the shop, I see something I, I want or, you know, or another shop. I see a color of dubbing I like, I grab it, or I, I think of a fly I need to tie and I grab another pack of dubbing. Well, dubbing probably adds up quicker than anything other than maybe thread and wire because you, you got to have thread and wire just like you have to have dubbing to tie. So your dubbing collection adds up pretty quick. To combat that, um, we started selling in the shop here's some examples we started selling these packs that have uh, combinations of dubbing packs these are prism slf prism this one's a really cool it's natural fur it has a uh, like camel squirrel coyote mink beaver muskrat uh, hare's ear pine squirrel gray squirrel fox squirrel po australian possum Big selection in that. I like this box a lot. Um, but anyway, we started carrying these boxes. And on the back of it, they have a little hole in it. You can pull the dubbing out of the hole there. And uh, it's really easy to work with. You just grab a hold and pull it out and then dub it on. So this is a nice way to buy your dubbing. If you can get a big selection of dubbing, it's a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit more expensive out of pocket, but you get a lot of dubbing if you find one that you like, if you find a pattern that you like. Like, say this one. I use this color right here on my stone flies a lot. I go through it pretty quick, so I can just reorder this one pack and don't have to buy all the other colors. I can just bought, order this one pack in or find it and find it at a store, whatever. But anyway, from all my years of collecting and hoarding fly tying materials, um... I come up with a big pile of dubbing. For instance, I grabbed all my ice dubbing off the wall. And here's a pile of my ice dubbing. And this is all of it. But that's like 20 bags right there. 20 bags of ice dubbing. So I wasn't sure how to handle it. I was running out of room. So I went down to Walmart. And down at Walmart, they have these flambeau boxes. This is a tackle box for your bass lures and stuff. You keep your bass lures in it. It's got little dividers in it you can see here. Um, all together, there's 24 compartments if you had a, they don't, the only bad thing about them is, is they don't have enough dividers to make all 24 departments. So you have to take, I take my fly tying foam that I make beetles and ants and stuff out of, and uh, I trace them out, cut, made a pattern, cut them out of foam. It works just fine. And uh, I made a dubbing box of my own. Here you can see I got 24 different colors of dubbing in here. This is uh, check nip dubbing from Hemingway. Awesome stuff. I really started to tie a lot with it here lately. A lot of collars and stuff. So I grabbed a pack of each color and uh, ended up, I filled it all up between check nip and peacock dub from, from Hemingway. But uh, here you can see, the great thing about it is there's one bag of dubbing 
one bag fits perfectly in each spot. So you got 24 different kinds of dubbings at your disposal there. The other thing I'm going to do is I wrote all the dubbing colors down on a list, and then I'm going to run a piece of tape across each row and write the colors so that I know when one of them gets low, I know what to reorder and get a new one to replace it. The, then when I got the box, I come home, like I said, I made the extra dividers, and then I went down and hit my drill press, or you could use a hand drill, it wouldn't be no different. And I drilled a hole in each compartment so I can pull the dubbing out, just like on the dubbing boxes that we sell at the shop. But this, I picked this up at Walmart for $3.84. For $3.84, I got a nice way to store all my dubbing. So that's a quick tip for you. And like I said, if you find a pack of dubbing that's at the shop that doesn't look normal, a little bit off the die lot, grab it if it moves, you know, if you like it, because you're never going to find it again, probably. So thanks for watching these videos, guys. I'm going to be bringing you more tips like this. This one's a simple little one that uh, you may not have thought of. It's going to save me some room on the wall here. Um, keep posted on the Facebook here and Instagram. Like us on both of those and our YouTube. Please take the time to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, follow us. And we enjoy that we like bringing these videos to you and uh, are thankful you watch them. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. I'm Sean Holsinger.